This is a wind turbine. It's designed to use the wind to generate electricity. The wind turns the blades, generating electricity up here, which is then brought down the tower for local use or connection to the community's power grid. Some turbines are located on land, some are at sea. Some work on their own, some in large arrays or wind farms. They come in many shapes and blade configurations and in many different sizes. However they are configured, the principle of how they work is the same. The main components of a turbine are the foundation, the tower, the yaw mechanism to swing the blades around, the nacelle or pod which houses the workings, the blades, the nose cone, and an anemometer to measure wind speed. How does it all work? Well, when the wind blows, bringing lots of kinetic energy, it turns the blades, transferring its energy to them. This turning motion is relatively slow compared to what's needed for electricity generation, so the slow rotation of the blades is transferred via a shaft to a gearbox inside the nacelle. The gearbox steps up the rotation speed. This faster rotation is transferred in turn to a generator via the output shaft. The electricity produced by the generator is sent down a heavy cable inside the tower. It then goes into a transformer which adjusts the voltage to suit the final destination of the electricity. To power an entire community using wind turbines, you need to have a collection of them. They're usually sited together and linked up. In other words, they form a wind farm. A typical wind farm turbine might be around 60 meters high, with around 70 meter diameter blades, and output 2 megawatts of electricity. Many wind farms feeding the main grid in the UK are located on land. The transformer substation converts the direct current generated by the turbines into alternating current so that it can be sent long distances more efficiently. We also have many offshore wind farms which send their electricity to onshore substations through undersea cables. In April 2010, the UK reached a generating capacity of 1 gigawatt from its 11 offshore wind farms, enough to power 700,000 homes. The amount of electricity that can be generated at any moment depends on three things the strength of the wind, the number of operational turbines available, and the way the turbines are arranged. Each turbine needs clear wind access. Most start generating at a wind speed of 8 miles per hour, reaching optimum efficiency at around 30 miles per hour.